Hello friends and welcome to another video from my series Quick Thoughts On in which I always talk about different stories from the rich Star Trek universe. 30 years and I think 5 weeks ago the next episode of the second season of Star Trek The Next Generation premiered. It was called A Matter of Honor and these are my honest opinions about it. The Enterprise is a part of an officer exchange program which means that the Enterprise welcomes a bunch of new officers, including one Benzite. Wesley, who welcomes them together with Commander Riker, thinks the Benzite is his old buddy Mordok, who we met in the episode Coming of Age from Season 1, but no, it's Mendon. So Wesley thinks that all Benzites look the same. Don't you love these accidental racism cases? There is also one tiny little problem. Mordok was the first Benzite who got ever accepted to Starfleet Academy. And even Wesley now recognizes that he couldn't graduate the Academy in just one year. But at the same time, Mendon is a Starfleet officer, or at least I think he's a Starfleet officer because of his uniform. So was he not in the Academy? We just began and the story gets slightly confusing. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that it has three credited writers and God knows how many uncredited ones. But Picard calls Riker to the shooting range, which is a room we have never seen before, or at least I think so, to say that uh, somebody from the Enterprise crew should join the program too. And because a Klingon ship is near, Riker offers to go to work to Aikai S. Park. This is where the fun begins. This is a pretty good study of the Klingon culture and habits, and it's a pity that the writers working on the first season of Star Trek Discovery didn't watch it. We see a lot of Klingon food, we are introduced to it by Riker eating it, we are told lots of stuff about their military and command structure. When Worf explains to Riker that a part of the first commander's duties is to kill the captain, just like the second commander is supposed to kill the first one, in the case that they become incompetent and unable to serve. He even gives him a female sex toy, which apparently in this universe is an emergency transporter, just for the case. Meanwhile on the bridge, Mendon is being a pain in the ass and trying to improve everybody's work, which is not the best idea how to make friends in a new job. I had to also learn it the hard way in my first job. Mendon then tries to do a scan of the IKS park when he notices some parasites on the neck of the ship. He doesn't report about it, instead he just investigates the parasites himself. The intended message of Mendon's subplot is clearly that diversity is our strength, but they talk about the only diversity which really matters, the diversity of opinions and experiences. When Riker becomes the new first officer of the Klingon ship, he first has to smash the head of his second officer to the console he, to give him a lesson that he shouldn't question his command. Now this show delivers some really confusing messages. We have two storylines. In the main one, Riker goes to the Klingons to learn something from the Klingons. In the second one, we have a story about Mendon coming to the Enterprise to teach them something from their culture. So I guess that the intended message was that we should be interested also in other cultures, because we can learn each other different ways how to solve uh, different problems. At least I think that was the intent. But what actually happens during both of the stories? Well, the Enterprise crew teaches Mendon that his methods are wrong and the Federation way is the better one. In the Riker storyline, Riker teaches the Klingons that their way is the wrong one. In other words, again, he as the representative of the Federation is the better one. So, uh, wasn't the original message lost in rewrites, or was always the intended message that we can listen to other ideas, but that doesn't matter, because we are still superior? 
But anyway, the park captain soon finds out about the parasites, but he thinks that the Enterprise has used some new classified weapon on their ship. Riker tries logic on him, but it doesn't work, and the captain decides to attack and destroy the USS Enterprise. So Riker has now a very interesting moral dilemma. Where do his loyalties lie? Meanwhile on the Enterprise somebody else found the parasites, and Menden proudly says that he is already working on that case. Their way is not to report what they found until they have a complete uh, report and a possible solution. Which of course is not the Federation way. But he, of course, saves the day. They find out uh, how to solve this problem, which means they fly towards the park to help them. The park captain notices them, which means that he, because he is uh, really paranoid, thinks that the Enterprise is planning to finish them and prepares to die in an honorable battle. Riker questions his captain's decisions, but he doesn't get punished. Strange. When the second officer questioned Riker, Riker assaulted him. When Riker does something pretty similar, the captain basically ignores it. Why? Not that I'm complaining, I'm just confused a bit. When the atmosphere on the Klingon bridge gets more serious, Riker pulls out his sex toy, and I don't know what he plans to do with it. Is he planning to beam out during the planned fight? Or is he planning to do just what happens? Because to me it seems almost like a coincidence that the captain notices his thingy and asks him to give it to him. So Riker gives it to him and... Of course, the Enterprise immediately beams him to the bridge. They were really surprised when, instead of seeing their first officer, they suddenly see the Klingon captain materialize on the bridge. He tries to pull out his weapon, but Worf shows why he's on the ship and stuns him. Really great stuff. Riker takes command of the park and pretends that he wants to continue the mission of destroying the Enterprise. But instead he lets them fix the park and he takes the captain back. So what does the captain do to Riker for his actions? He punches him. I honestly expected him to kill Riker or that they will have some fight to the death or something like that. But no, he just punches Riker and that's it. He can return to the Enterprise. So what did we learn? We actually learn surprisingly a lot about Klingon culture. Most of it is in one long scene which I didn't talk about in detail because they're just dumping exposition on us. And I immediately understand why the Klingons are one of the most beloved alien races from the Star Trek universe. There just is something in the way they talk about honor which talks to probably every man especially to young or depressed men, and uh, maybe even women, I don't know, I have never been a woman, and judging from what I know from my online presence at different Star Trek forums and fan sites, or even from seeing the cosplays, the vast majority of people who love the Klingon culture are men. The rest of the episode, however, is nothing really special, it's not bad, but it's highly forgettable, also, the morals of this story are pretty confusing, at least to me, but maybe I'm just dumb. On my standard scale from 0 to 10, where 0 is complete garbage, 10 is a masterpiece, and 5 is just average, I would give this episode 6 out of 10. The Klingon culture scenes are great, the directing is really great, as always, with Rob Bowman at the helm, but the main story is kind of weak. It has three credited writers and at least two uncredited writers, and you can clearly feel it. It feels like every writer has uh, his own or her own motivation to telling the story. But anyway, the next episode was clearly, and I mean clearly great, the measure of a man. But that's a story for next time. Thank you very much for watching. 
Tell me what did you think about this video and about this episode, did you love it, hate it or agree with my slightly above average rating? Thank you very much for watching and see you very soon with a video about the next episode of Star Trek Discovery. Bye.